Hey everyone, so I'm super excited to release this next video series. Uh, it's going to be on rigging and animating in Blender and getting all of that stuff into Godot. Uh, the workflow goes through everything from downloading assets to tweaking models, doing UV maps, texturing, rigging, uh, finally retargeting animations and then exporting that and getting it into Godot in a really, really easy way. For me, this has been quite a long process to find a perfect workflow or as, as close to perfect as I could make it. I think this workflow is like really modular and flexible. And to be honest, I'm really happy with it now. So I really did want to share it. There are countless times that I've been on the Godot Discord or on the forum where people have been asking, how do I do animations? How do I, like, it just, it's difficult, right? With Blender and Blender, Blender's weird stuff with animations and then Godot's, you know, own way of doing it. So I do use a few add-ons in the series. I will say that some of them you don't have to use. Um, I use Simple Bake. Uh, but obviously you can bake textures with vanilla blender. There's lots of videos out there on how to do it uh, But there are some caveats to watch for in that case I will tell you that I personally use vanilla blender for baking for a long time, but it's It's a struggle. It, it's not it's not easy. It's not simple um, Some add-ons you absolutely do need are uh, Rigify which is just free with blender You can just enable it and the Rococo add-on which is also free But you need to sign up on their website to get it uh, I can't understate how powerful the Rococo add-on is. Uh, you know, obviously with Mixamo animations and the idea that you can just retarget an animation to a different, you know, bipedal character model is incredible. Like the amount of quality that we can get from those animations is just absolutely insane. Um, so for the Mixamo animations, I will say, uh, as far as I know, these animations are free to use and use in your projects, even if you're, you know, selling a game that uses those animations. But you can't simply resell those assets as is. Um, everything I used in this series was CCO or some sort of free license, um, but I did modify them a lot and kind of make them my own. Uh, the videos are all recorded at this point. I just need some time to edit and polish them up uh, It does take a ton of time to edit videos. I would say like three or four times as long as like the actual recording um, So I will try to release them as I get time and as I can kind of roll them out So thanks for watching the channel and if you haven't already, uh, please subscribe It does help me stay in touch with you like through polls in the community tab on the channel um, so it helps me find out what content you're really interested in, right? Um, for me, basically, I just, I love making games. This has been a, uh, a thing for many years for me and, and recently I've started to create a lot more. Uh, I love 3D art, I love programming. So there's a lot of things I'm interested in. Um, just let me know what you're interested in and then we can kind of uh, grow the community together. So as always, thank you for watching and I hope I see you in the next one.